guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different than all the other videos that I normally do. Um, just because today we're going to be reviewing uh, the last week in my budget planner. Uh, for my budget planner this year I chose the Hemlock and Oak uh, daily setup. Um, I seriously love this planner. Like this has turned out way better than what I was expecting. I mean, it is a beefy planner <laughs> and it definitely holds a lot more than what I was expecting. So again, I use this Hemlock and Oak planner for my daily, um, for, for my daily budgeting. Uh, this is going to be my budgeting hub for the year. And just in case, if you missed my setup video, uh, I chose this two year at a glance. I chose this to put um, like the the months that I'm expected to pay off my account. Um, I originally listed them under the months and then just highlighted it. But I did have to come back because I was like, okay, I got to color code this because now I'm kind of curious, like let's say that I get uh, this first account, let's say I get it paid off on the 20th. Well, now of course the next account I'm going to start hitting is Kohl's. So like I wanted to color code it just to see how long it took me to pay off each of those accounts, like where I picked up speed, what took the longest, like if Discover is going to take the longest here. But I mean, he's a big boy. Um, <clears throat> Again, if you missed uh, my setup video, <laughs> and I'm sorry guys, like I'm trying really hard not to sound anxious in this, but it's just like the whole budgeting thing does make me anxious, as you can see, but um, I'm trying my best. I, I'm trying not to, you know, put that vibe through, but uh, yeah, no, so the information where I got like my payoff dates from is from the Debt Payoff Planner app. And I absolutely love this app. I highly recommend it. It is free for, you know, anybody. And I mean, like, I cannot say enough good things about this. I've been using it for years. <laughs> now, if only I would do, like, what it suggests. But, um, you know, this year I'm really feeling it. And I'm actually uh, thinking we're going to do this. So... Uh, that's another reason for this weekly video here because I'm going to try to have you hold me accountable because the last thing I want to do is come on the next week and say that uh, I blew it. So yeah, this is from the Debt Payoff Planner app and I'll provide a link for that down in the description. And it basically like you take all your accounts, you put everything in and it gives you like a summary. It tells you how much you have, how much you're going to pay in interest, how long it's going to take, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you this cute little payoff plan. So that's where these came from, which is kind of cool because it does show you that there is light at the end of the tunnel. But this, I would have to say, is probably my favorite part. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I printed this off as well. And I know like it looks like I'm like doing the same thing over and over. But I loved this just for the fact that, like, I could take it off as I do those monthly payments. And, like, slowly this mountain is going to go away. So I wanted to make sure that I shared that with him again. Because, like, I know that app is really, really helpful. Because I could look at my debt and just be completely overwhelmed with it. But if you noticed... Um, as soon as I brought that out, the anxiety went down. Um, it's the same amount of debt, same amount of accounts, but it was just something about that spreadsheet that shows me like, hey, this is doable and it's it's going to get taken care of. So it's kind of like a check uh, ch checklist, check check off list <laughs> for those of us that like like the, you know, check off things like that is the list. So. All right, so that's what I'm doing with those pages there. And um, for the year at a glance, I chose to highlight all my uh, paydays in green. And then I color coded um, some important factors. So the, uh, the red is going to be the focus card or focus account that I have for that month. Um, 
uh, the purples, yeah, purples are holidays, um, blues are birthdays, of course, the summer green, he's taxes, because, you know, we only see taxes once a year, unless you pay them quarterly, I don't, so I see it once a year, um, what do I got, vehicle things, vehicles are orange, so I have, like, the driver's license, the plate registration, vehicle inspections, because you don't want those sneaking up on you, and um uh, the insurance so i get two insurance installments so that's something to look forward to <laughs> i i think i think that's it yeah yeah we literally have the roy g biv and i had to add one for taxes just you know because you don't want to forget you don't want to forget that those taxes are due um okay uh detris i decided i'm completing this on the very last day of each month just because it's going to be a lot easier for me to calculate this, you know, 104 per piece. Uh, I'm not doing that every week. Um, so I'm just going to calculate that out at the end of every month. And yeah, so that brings us back to this monthly. And as you can see, I listed off uh, all my bills and the paydays that they're due. Um, I check them off as I pay them and I write like an average of what the bill is going to be. Uh, I also decided that I was going to add in my extra payments, but I made them as gray because they're not necessarily due on that day. It's just the day that I picked over here in my goals. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have added. Uh, I did choose to put a cancel category and I did this because one, I wanted to see what I was canceling and two, I, I'm really enjoying starting to see like how much I'm saving by canceling those things that I don't need. So, I mean, that, that was kind of nice and fun. And I, I mean, I'm going to have to say guys, like, I know this is the same setup that I've been doing like for the previous years and other planners, but there's something about this one <laughs> that makes me want to do it. It's calming. So, okay, so that's a view of my monthly layout there. So let's go ahead and do a quick view of my dailies. So this is how I'm using the daily pages in this Hemlock and Oak Daily Planner. Uh, I kind of explained it when I was setting it up, but it was a little difficult to explain it when I didn't have anything to put in it yet because it wasn't January 1st. Um, so there's never going to be like a before the pen on these things just because there would be nothing to show. Uh, I, was <laughs> I was trying to uh, test things out. So yeah, I mean, this day looks a little rough. Um, but hey, uh, this one's function, not beauty. And so as you can see, like I start the day off with like a fun quote that's, you know, that day appropriate. And then I kind of put like an intention. So it could be a quote that I liked. Or as you'll see later on, I started asking myself questions just to get me thinking uh, financially about saving money. You know, like, why am I doing this? Why is budgeting important to me? So that's what I save uh, this area up here for. Um, the schedule part. <laughs> Which I probably have to be the only person that's like, track when you spend. <laughs> but to me, like, this was important because with me being off for winter break, I realized, like, I wasn't spending as much. But it was because I was busy, because I was creating, because I was filming, because I was, you know, doing all of the wonderful things. So I knew there had to be something that is uh, associated with what I do during the day when I'm at work, uh, maybe who I'm around, the environment, maybe it's stress. So that's why I wanted to keep this schedule part here. This is new. This is not something I've done before. And it is a little weird to get used to, but I mean, I, I'm definitely getting used to it now. So basically anything that is pro-budget, pro-saving, pro-paying off debt, anything that is good for my financial health is highlighted in uh, gray. So as you can see, like I spent this day paying the bills and basically setting this up. That's why it took so long. 
Um, I also uh, entered everything in on this debit and every dollar app. And of course, like this day I reviewed, so they're highlighted in gray. Now, as you can see, I also list if I'm shopping or if I was browsing and I shouldn't have been browsing. So like that did scrolling that we all do. <laughs> oh, I've bought so many things when I was did scrolling and I shouldn't have. But now in the middle of did scrolling, which normally I would just go to the cart and check it out and just be like, oh, well, I guess I own that now. Uh, now I catch myself going, oh man, what's the time? I have to put that in my book. So... <laughs> I don't know if that like brings me back to reality or what it is, but so far this has been working. So, I mean, like for example, you could see on the first, uh, I did purchase some Etsy things. Um, I was, uh, drug into the solar wave website <laughs> and, um, yeah, I realized cause again, like I had, it's, weird like the thought crossed my mind it was like oh man what time is it you gotta write this down and then it hit me I was like I don't need this like why am I even looking at this like yeah it's cool but I mean come on now it's two hundred dollars like I don't need the solar wave okay I don't so I got to say no to solar wave and then apparently later on that night I found myself um shopping for a laser printer <laughs> so which I mean okay one day I would like to own a laser printer. I don't need that laser printer right this second. All right. So, uh, yeah. So like even on day one, I started noticing weird things like this. All right. And of course, like I found myself the next day again, I'm looking at it again. Cause I really want to heat foil guys. Okay. That's, that's what this is all about. But I was like, okay, you're making a wish list, right? So as you, as we start flipping through, you're going to see, uh, some of the like weird oddity things um, that I tend to gravitate towards when I'm bored. <laughs> so I highly recommend that, like doing that for yourself. If you know that you're somebody who's um, gonna go on like a click ad and you, you know you're gonna get suckered into buying something, okay? If that sounds like you, start writing down what you're looking at in the time. And guaranteed, that should at least stop you from making that purchase at that moment. And then go back and review it like a week later and just, just to get some laughs, all right? Um, but for the purpose of this video here, uh, so as you, like, yeah, of course you guys can see. Um, so, okay, like, I have, like, my quotes and my little insights up here. I track my spending and when I'm working on my budget. And now this is, like, my checklist, my daily checklist. So, yes, they both say I will not use the cards because I'm dragging that into my head. Like, that is, like, I really don't even have to think about it now. So, I am eight days without even touching a credit card, without even thinking about using the credit card. And I really think it's because I wrote that down 31 times. Um, of course, I'm going to fill out the log. So, that's a friendly reminder of, like, hey, don't put it off tomorrow. You do that now. <laughs> um, I put any of the bills in that I have due that day. So those are from this monthly. So if I had bills on that day, I just went through and put them on each day. Uh, you can never check it off too many times, guys, because I do not want to miss a payment. <laughs> um, okay, uh, if I had like any good things that happened, so like I had a really great day on Etsy on this day. So I figured I better write that down because, again, it's showing, like, hey, some of the things that you're doing, it's helping you financially. So that was a good thing. You know, that was a win-win. And, of course, um, I was going to do this debit every dollar thing. I was going to do that once a week. I had it resigned for Sundays. But um, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I trained myself somehow on these two days to just do it that day. So now whenever which these are going to change because I think I was off work on both these days. But when we go back to reality on the next page, you're going to see I always do my budgeting at night now. So as I'm filling out the log, I fill it out and then I bring out the every dollar app, punch it in. And then if it's a bill, I put it on Stebit. And then that way I could just check it off and we're done. So it is like it, it seems repetitive. It seems like a lot, but it is actually saving me time compared to what I was doing in December. 
So, I mean, I was having this, like, every week in December, and it was ridiculous. So, yeah, and then, of course, you know, you got your budget spend log down here, so I literally write everything down. <laughs> so, yeah, and just to give you a quick flip through of what we've done in the week. So, again, like, I started reviewing in the morning, because that's what I was doing when I wasn't at work. And then all of a sudden it turned into like, hey, we're at work and notice, see, this is where the spending's starting. So being at work does make me spend. A majority of it is food <laughs> because I'm hungry. All right. So, but I do have this put into my budget. So I have a set amount that I'm allowed to go to. And yeah, so... Um, but as you can see, like I started doing the review log at night and this is definitely helping because then I have that number ready for the next day. Uh, this stuff's already entered in and yeah, so I mean, it's not pretty by any means and you can actually see what my handwriting really looks like <laughs> because when I'm budgeting, I'm, uh, I'm not really paying attention to lettering. I'm going with the flow and oh. See, I never actually, I never checked this one off because this was my first no spend day. So that was kind of nice. I actually had a full no spend day. Can't remember the last time I had one of those. And okay, so this day's not over yet, so I'm not checking it off yet. We will. And just, oh yeah. Might as well show, um, I do use a Pigma Micron 1, just in case if you're wondering what pen I'm using in this planner. And again, you could see, like, there's no bleed through, so that's nice. And let's see here. I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have missed, but, uh, yeah, like the review up here. So on Sunday, I'm going to put, like... Uh, a quick review, something to get me thinking about uh, how I spent or how I didn't spend for the week. So for today, I picked uh, review all the things you could have purchased this week. Do you still want those things? Are you happy you didn't spend? And okay, so earlier this morning, I was price checking things for a planner crafter room because I've been wanting one. And I'm pretty happy with what I found. Um, I kind of made like a little digital wish list and like kept the links to them and the prices and instead of just going out and just being like oh, I'll charge and I'm gonna get all this stuff now I actually have a plan to how I want it set up like I even got a blueprint of the room and everything so it's it's really cool and it gives me something to look forward to and now I'm trying to think of the ways of like how I could save for that instead of just charging it now I'm like okay like what can I do to save up for that. So that worked out pretty good. Um, I was going to get like a seasonal tree. Like a spring tree. A fall tree for Bert. Um, he would love it. I know he would. But um, we don't need it right now. Uh, so I mean. Saved 80 bucks there. Uh, what is it? I almost shopped at Kohl's. Because again those. Uh, you know emails that they send you. Oh sales 20% off. It's always 20% off. Okay. It, it, it always is. And <laughs> so I said no to that, save 50 bucks. Um, let's see here. What else did I try to buy this week? These ones were pretty good. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. And okay, so this one was that printer and laminator, which we did actually figure it out today. Um, I not only want a printer and laminator because, I mean, I could buy these right now. I don't have nowhere to put them. So I need this. So th this is really what I was after. So it's one of those weird things of where you're buying something to get something, but you're not actually buying what it is that you want. That is what I want. Um, I do need these to achieve that, but that is the end goal. So that's uh, I'm really glad that I waited on that just because I probably they, they would have ended up in the corner because I have nowhere to put them and then I would have never used them. Um, was it the solo wave? Uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I didn't spend two hundred dollars on that. So I'm very thankful for this uh this budget book here, and of course the laser printer, which is on there. 
But, I mean, as you can see, like, I'm not thinking of Solo Wave all week long. Okay, Solo Wave, once I, you know, left the ad, uh, it, it hasn't been in my mind. But, as you can see, like, I got Laser Printer, Laser Printer, and Laser Printer keeps appearing. So, I guess this is how you really know if you want something <laughs> versus thinking you want it. Now, do I need that? Not technically. I mean, it would help my business and maybe I would have more of these days, which then would help me financially. So that's where I got to weigh out the, uh, the pros and cons of it is, is it worth it? Um, not if I'm going to be charging it. So it's not worth it to me for that. And yeah, so I mean, uh, I hope that this video helps some of some of you. <laughs> it's uh, it feels really weird, like actually putting all my budgeting stuff up on here. But what I'm really hoping is that if there is somebody out there that has this type of problem, <laughs> um, you, you know, like uh, let's do this together. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping to show you that it is possible. It may take me 23 months. <laughs> hopefully not. But, I mean, I'm gonna hopefully show you that this is possible. It does go away. There is no magic quick fix to it. It's literally stop using the cards and pay. So, I mean, I wish I had like a magic trick to show you. I don't, but um, it's going to take some work. <laughs> and if you're going to be working on something, why not make it gorgeous? And again, this is the Hemlock and Oak uh, 2023 Daily. And I love this planner. I love knowing that all of my budgeting stuff is now going to be in one planner. And I'm really hoping by the end of this year that I'm going to be able to look back at this planner and say, yes, we are 50% of the way. <laughs> It'd be really cool if it was 100, but I'm a realist. So even if I just get half of what I owe paid off, I'm, I'm cool with that. That would be a successful year to me. And yeah, so again, like I really hope that this video helped. Uh, please leave some comments down below if if you're doing your budgeting too, if you're in the same situation, if you have been in this situation and you got out of it, um, just share how you feel. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more Plan With Me's.